Yo, what's good? I'm Tap Boy 1000 and on this video, we got some fun shit going down. We're going to test out two machines. One is a uh, FK Irons Flux Max. Yep. And an Amazon bought machine uh, called the Ambition. Ambition. How much was the Amazon machine, John? It was like 189. So 189 versus $1100 machine. And the Flux Max I bought from FK Irons the other one's called Ambition, but it's not not sold by. It's, it's just sold through Amazon, but Amazon ain't the actual brand. Mm -hmm. We just say Amazon machines because you can buy it on Amazon. So, mine's a 3.2, and the other one is a 3.5. You said 3.5 yeah. stroke. 3.5. So on the last video, if you click right there, you can see the last video. I actually used the uh, Flux Max versus another Amazon bought machine that I had, which was the X Net. But that was a 4.0 and that's a 3.2. So we felt it wasn't a fair comparison. So what we're gonna do on this video is Jason's gonna tattoo John, which John seems like he's the he's the one that likes to get tortured. Because he was used in my video also. I'll get tattered all day. But um what do you feel the weight? Because the Amazon machine I had was a lot heavier. This one is really not that heavy. I feel like uh, uh, in the hand, it feels like the Flux Max has got a little bit a little bit of weight more toward the front which i don't think it i think that's better ergonomically i feel like it fits in my hand nicer i that's think you're right but i think i would want the weight more towards the, the top yep than sitting on the back because that should cause cramping and this is a little bit taller too so i can i kind of can notice that i don't usually use either one of these machines um i use a uh, bishop wand and it's about this big so yeah, so stay tuned for that too, because we're gonna do reviews on the Bishop Juan, Cheyenne. We're just gonna pump our reviews, and remember, these are honest, real reviews. Honest, real reviews. Just throw them both on, see what you feel for like vibration and stuff. Like I can barely hear this one. This one I can feel. And that's another thing. The Flux Max, you can actually go up one point at a time instead of like eight to eight point oh, yeah. five. You can actually go 8.1 you can get in between which is to me is awesome all right well this one this one goes up by 0.5 at a time yeah so the, that's that's what i noticed with the amazon machine too the uh the one i bought which was xnet which i think is a pretty dope machine but it was the same thing you couldn't get in between those so like if you're nitpicking and you want to really get in between and find your sweet spot for you the flux max offers that the LCD yeah, screens, I did notice, they both have timers on them. Yep, okay. Which is amazing because the Flux Max, they're actually using that part of their, like, their promotional sale thing. Like, oh, we got the timer on it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, dude, I can get a machine for under 200 and it has a timer on it. One, I want, I'd like to see how long the batteries last for. That's our that's, biggest thing, and that's, then that's what people are just gonna have. You just have to subscribe and watch these videos because it'll take time for us to really realize like my biggest concern is that when you buy a cheaper machine is it gonna last longevity mm -hmm. yeah exactly right yeah, because you know like what i've noticed is with cheaper machines the battery stops draining faster uh the actual bar that's coming off the can that's pushing the needle sometimes doesn't bend because that just happened to rjb mm -hmm. I, I also like um see how it's how it's working throughout the throughout the whole uh, tattoo too even you know maybe even if it's at a full charge or whatever is it still gonna maybe just get tired after after five yeah, hours or something like that I have had that one die on me yeah. Yeah. It didn't the tattoo did it didn't okay. power um, or did it just die like shut off I think it was like losing power towards the end yeah so that's another thing. From what I heard of the Flux Max, I haven't ran it to its full capacity yet, or battery. They say that it's supposed to just die. You're not supposed to lose power. Right. Yeah. For anybody watching, you know, losing power during a tattoo process is going to suck ass. Yeah. Yeah, I have the first Spectra Flux from FK Irons, and I really never had it die on me or bog down or anything. So what, what are you going to be getting tattooed today? So it's a realistic portrait of Jackie Chan. Kind of looking in a broken mirror. So yep. it's like holding, holding the mirror so again, it's a reflection. Yep. Where are you gonna put it? Back calf. 
belly down ass up. That's his favorite, belly down ass his up. His favorite. Yeah, it is. His favorite, he not loves my it. favorite, his favorite. <laughs> he just loves having the guy belly down ass up. The lemon tree. Oh, no. <laughs> but stay tuned. We're going to get in. We're going to set it up. We're going to go through the whole process. You'll see the tattoo time lapse real quick. We'll get how they're feeling during the process, and then we'll end it with letting y'all know how they felt. Stay tuned. Now you're using the, uh, the Flux Max. Yep, yep, Flux Max. It's pretty smooth. I know I hear what you're saying about this being loose, like very uh, loose on the ratchet, but it's not really affecting me at all. Yeah, that's what I noticed when I used it. The, the ratchet was, it was def it's definitely really loose. And to me, it's still that cheap plastic piece that the FK iron should have fixed by now. It didn't affect me, it didn't turn it on where I tied it. We're not aggressively tattooing either. I'm running at uh, 7.5 right now too, and that was with the nine bug pin. I'm gonna go to a bigger mag now. Oh, your boy got the shovel out. So right now, uh, what voltage was you at? I'm at 7.5 with a uh, 25 curve mag uh, bug pin. So overall right now, how are you liking the machine? I like it. Yeah, it's smooth, it's getting those, I like those tones. I don't see um, any like needle needle marks or anything like that and my stretch is like it's it's pretty light i mean it's a calf but you know it's a pretty light stretch it, it's hitting everywhere it's because you're used to basically the 4.2 you've been using which is the bishop, yeah right? um i don't remember actually ever using a three a 3.5 or anything uh lower than that i, I think i've always used 4.2 because i would use Multiple bishops, my V6 was a 4.2, my Phantom. Comment below on any machine, ink, needle, anything you want tested. We will test it. Oh man, yo, everybody be careful, the boss is coming. Oh no. Yep. Hopefully she doesn't <laughs> care. Oh, I don't, I don't want to hear it today. What do you got going over here? Tattoo for John. Mmm, it looks pretty good. Lucky I don't have to fire nobody. Well, I guess I better keep up with the, the progress. Yep, better keep up. What are you working on over here? My next tattoo. Ooh, but who's gonna do it? Jay. Jay better do it good, or I don't have to fire him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing about that machine? Um, it hits, that's for sure. I'm at uh, 7.5, like I was with the other one, so I wanna see. I would compare at that voltage. I can, it's obviously louder um, and you can almost hear like some other vibrations. Um, it's definitely like a little rattle or something. Um, how long, John, how long you had that machine? Probably like a year and a half. Okay. A year and a half. It's got mm -hmm. some miles on it. Last I actually year and didn't a half, use though. it that much. Okay. Also, you haven't really put a lot of time on it. You just no, it how many it. hours do you think you got into it? No more than like 40. Oh shit, that's not even broke yet. Yeah. Okay. It's always been rattly like that ever since I got it. Okay. So yeah, right there, that's something that I wouldn't want. Um, what I did down here with it, it uh, I hit that like two passes, three passes with like a one drop, but when I was using the the Flux Max, it was, um, I would have got that tone in one in one hit, that I did notice. You can hear the, the vibration on the needles when I do that too, like with the other one I was hearing the, I was hearing it hit the skin, you know, but I wasn't hearing any additional vibration on the needle. I don't know if it's... How's it laying in the skin? It's, it's... You see it like leaving two marks and stuff? No, nope. But as you're using a big mag too though, so there's gonna be a lot less two, two marks with a yeah. mag that size. And then bug pins. No, no tool marks. Yo, so now that you've been using that for a while, how are you feeling, Jason? Um, I definitely feel there's a, there's an obvious uh, quality ish uh, difference between the Flux Max and the Ambition. Um, 
can hear like a little rattle in this one. It, so it sounds a lot louder from here, and I'm a good yeah. seven, eight feet from you. And I was, I'm only at 7.5. Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't hear any of that. I wouldn't think. I would, don't really want to. Not that I shouldn't, but I don't really want to. So with the with the flux, you really didn't hear it that loud. Not at all. Not it was still whisper, whisper smooth. Cause that's what I noticed with the flux. Like that thing, boy, that thing sounded like it wasn't even on. What about you, John? You was getting tattooed by the other one for a little bit. Now you've been on that one probably 15 minutes. How's it feeling? Definitely a hit harder than the flux. I know I asked when it first, when it first first started using. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No, I can definitely feel it burning. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we won't say we're not gonna recommend lower quality machines. That Pacific one, Jason ain't feeling it. Obviously you wasn't feeling it because you never really picked it up anymore. No, I switched over. <laughs> so that's already two artists as an opinion. In my mind, I wouldn't buy it because of that. These type of machines, like this Pacific one, only recommendation we probably have what is to use it on fake skin. Yeah, I practice fake skin for an apprentice. Yeah, just beat it, beat it to death. So for y'all at home, it's not called a tattoo gun. It's called a tattoo machine. Guns kill people. Tattoo machines help heal people. That's a machine. This is a fucking gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's a Tommy one. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> and that's another thing. If y'all want to know what needles are being used in these videos, or what ink, what ointment we're using, anything just comment on the video and we'll try to put something up showcasing what we're using we might even just do a video about the pacific brand of needles that we're using remember these are honest real reviews honest real reviews So to wrap it up, we just finished up with the Flux Max versus the Ambition, sold on Amazon. We don't, I don't know what the company actually is. This is FK Irons. Jason did the tack. So on both of these machines, what are you feeling? The Flux Max uh, was really comfortable. It was balanced, very very smooth, quiet throughout the whole the whole tattoo. I like the the way that your hand can kind of like curl on it, the way that the grip is on it. That's that that was actually really cool because of the way it almost was a lot easier to almost mimic the way I draw. Yeah, that's the same thing I felt when I used it. Right. It was the grip, and I like that there's really no back weight. Right. Well, I thought I was gonna be more comfortable with the other one because that has the same shape uh, uh, grip as my my wand. Right off the rip, it was it was a lot louder than any machine that I'm used to used to working with. It hit. It, it was it was a hard hitter. It feels like it, like when it hits the skin, it feels like it's hitting like a like a 4.2 uh, wand. And I was like, wow, I was a little little nervous that it wasn't gonna give me a smooth blend, but it did. Um, that I used I used the ambition actually on the face of Jackie Chan. Um, and yeah, it was, I was nervous that it wasn't going to be quite so smooth, but yeah, it went in great. Yeah, everything looked good. A little more work with it? Yeah. Um, that was it. taking maybe like an extra pass or two comparatively to the Flux Max. The Flux Max, I was, I was getting tones in like one pass and if, if I needed to. Would you recommend this machine? <laughs> no, just because the, the rattle in it would, would make me feel uncertain if I was if I was an apprentice even I wouldn't I wouldn't want that I've got it right there the ambition it did put it, it did do its job but not recommended by Jason FK Irons Flux Max would you recommend this one to somebody I've never uh I've never even really used an FK Irons machine I, I used a, a Zion before uh one time and I know it had some miles on it, but uh, I've always been pretty loyal to Bishop. 
but I might actually pick up that machine because I like so that machine. Sold you, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, it was super smooth. FK Hines, there you go. Yo, that wraps up today's video. I'm Tadboy1000. You can follow me on all forms of social media. I'm here with Jason and John. Jason, give them your social medias. That is Jason Cherry on Facebook and Wicked underscore Artworks on Instagram. Both, both Facebook and Instagram. I'm John underscore Lippy. L-I-P-P-E. 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 Make sure you follow my guys. Listen, if you want us to put up any videos, testing out products, whether it's tattooing or maybe something else that used to be fun, entertaining, please comment below. Subscribe. Show us some love. Peace.